Hello, brave, beautiful, beloved soul friends. I hope you're having a magnificent day along your magical, miraculous, wondrous healing journey through life. If you have not explored my 15 minutes pure consciousness marathon challenge, I invite you to do so. All the information is in the video description below. If you take this challenge, I have an additional tip for you, especially if you are struggling with any type of mind-body disconnectivity, dissociation, stress, anxiety, trauma responses, or anything along those lines, either subtly, minorly, occasionally, or constantly and horrifically and unfathomably intensely, okay? So, and really this can help anybody, but especially if you're struggling with any of those, those things, okay? When you're sitting in your chair doing the marathon challenge, pay special attention to the muscles in your body and notice where there are spaces of tension. You might sit in your chair and notice that part of your back is tense and leaning away from the backrest, for example. And it could be very, very subtle to such a degree that you don't notice it right away and it's only after paying attention to it for a while and trying to connect with what is happening in your body that you start to notice it. It might take you a full five or 10 minutes to even notice these things because there's so much happening and to connect with the subtle sensations of individual muscles it takes a lot of conscious focus and practice of loving presence. But start to tune in with your body and see what you're noticing. And so, for example, you might notice your lower back leaning forward away from the backrest. And of course, this is just one of infinite examples. This sort of tension and, and different things happening can happen anywhere in the body. So keep that in mind. Anywhere in the body, in your jaw, in your shoulders, in every region of your back, in your legs, in your feet, it can happen anywhere. So pay attention and explore your own incredible body. If there is tension, for example, the lower back is tense and maybe arched forward so that the back is not fully pressed against the backrest, bring your awareness to that part of the body and help those muscles relax until you can feel them fully pressed into the chair, for example. Okay. And again, this can happen anywhere. This is just one example. So if you play with the marathon challenge, which again, all the details are in the video description below. It's a free little gift I have to share through my consciousness consultancy. It's amazing. And I've been doing it like hundreds of times and it only gets more powerful. It's truly incredible. Um, and so if you play with it, Feel free to play with body awareness in different ways. Every marathon challenge could be a little bit different if you if you want it to be. It can kind of just be an adventure and you you add some something else that you're consciously focusing on each time. If you want to, you can kind of mix it up and just, just play and see what adds benefit to your healing journey. <laughs> and so notice what different areas of your muscles are doing. And if there's tension in a space of your body, bring love to it, bring presence to it, and help that part of your body relax until you can feel a shift. And so in this example, you might notice you're sitting, you know, everything's okay, like your arms are relaxed, you're doing this, but then you're noticing that your back is arched slightly and the lower part of your back is tensing and pulling forward away from the backrest. And it's just a little small region of your back with all the stuff you got going on. So it might take you a while to notice it, for example. It might not have been in your awareness for a long time. And then you start to notice it. And then you realize how much it's happening. Maybe it happens every single time you sit in a chair, for example. And this is one example I bring up because this is something that Kristen discovered last year. Um, and so I always make sure to pay special attention to that region of my back when I sit down because I can tell if my unconscious body mind feels safe in the moment by if my lower back is able to fully relax in the chair or not. If it's slightly forward and arched and, and not fully leaning back into the chair, then something is happening beyond my awareness regarding unfulfilled attachment needs affecting neural activity and I need to bring my awareness to it and help those parts of my brain, body, and consciousness feel safe in the present moment. Okay. 
And so if you notice, just bring awareness and you can do a, like a body scan um, and you can kind of look up other information on that if, if you want more. There's, there's lots out there, thankfully, about body scans and kind of how to practice that. But you basically just go from head to toe or toe to head and you just notice every region of your body, bring awareness to it, check in with yourself and practice loving presence. Pour love into these parts of your being and practice being present with every part of your body and your being, your consciousness, your mind, body, spirit. And if there's an area of tension, bring awareness awareness to it, pour love into it, and help that part of you be more present by relaxing into the moment and letting go of everything else. So if you play with the marathon challenge, please feel free to expand your practice and notice areas of your body that might be tensing unconsciously, automatically, that in a way that you don't instinctively notice necessarily. Maybe you're aware of it, maybe not. Maybe you can immediately relax that part of your body. Maybe you have to practice marathons every day for a month before you can relax that part of your body but the point is to show up and practice loving presence because every practice makes a difference even if you don't see the evidence of it right away so bring awareness to your body during your marathon challenge and do a body scan and just connect with every region of muscles in your body and there's there's a lot of muscles so you know doing a whole body scan could take the full 15 minutes if you go super meticulously with it um, and just notice what you're noticing Observe yourself observing. Be fully present with all of you in the experience of all of you. And if you notice a region that's tensing or not able to fully relax in the chair or in the moment or in your own presence with love, then just bring special um, awareness to it and pour the power of your consciousness through loving presence into that region of your being and start to notice some subtle shifts. Um, maybe right away, maybe long term, um, but the important thing is to keep showing showing up and practicing okay so please feel free to play and again the marathon challenge all the details are in the video description below it's genuinely an incredible experience that only becomes more powerful regardless of who or where you are in your healing journey and um, there is a lot to be gained through these marathons and the power of them only increases um to say the very least and i'll be sharing more about that down the road but just know that there's a lot of power in it regardless of what your immediate experience is. I've witnessed the continuous power of this for many years and mirrors and marathons have a deep indescribable power to bring healing to regions of the unconscious body mind that we don't even know exist. Like regions that we can't even fathom, regions that we can't describe, regions that we can't consciously understand the depths of it brings healing to those parts of us and so there's a lot of power even beyond what can be directly observed and over time with regular practice you will notice the differences you you just you can't not it's so powerful so please feel free to check out the marathons um and uh, if any of these topics interest you, there's a whole bunch of other links that I share in the video description. So please feel free to explore and browse and love yourself and love yourself. And then while you're at it, uh, do me a favor and um, go ahead and love yourself some more. And then once you're done loving yourself, I recommend getting really busy and then loving yourself. And then while you're at it, um, you should probably love yourself some more. And in the practice of love, be present and then be present some more and then practice more presence. And then um, while you're at it, be present with the presence that you're practicing while you're practicing presence. And then and then in this process, also practice loving presence, okay? So in case it wasn't obvious, um, loving presence is um, kind of a big deal and holds a lot of power and has a lot of magic to offer you, I guarantee it. So practice love with your consciousness, practice presence with your body. And from that space of embodying your infinite power anything becomes possible anything even things you never imagined even dreams that you never dared to dream start to become possible okay so thank you for being here thank you for being you practice loving presence explore the marathon and pay attention mind body connectivity relaxing your body fully in the moment doing a body scan and pouring special love into any regions of your being that are struggling to accept loving presence if there's tension in the body there's a region of neural wiring that does not hold high vibrations of loving presence and is struggling to accept the loving presence you are offering. And so it's like going up to someone being like, here, have this gift. And they're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about taking this gift. Oh, 
I don't know about this. And you're like, here, no, have, no, really, have, no, no, seriously, have this, no, really, I want you to have this gift. And your unconscious body mind is like, I don't know about this. And, and a gift? What? Really? And you're like, no, really, really, seriously. And then eventually your unconscious body mind is like, ah. It's what I've always wanted. Thank you. But it might take you a while to get there. Um, you got to work through each piece of tension, which stems from activation in the unconscious body mind from past moments of unfulfilled attachment needs. But as you pour loving presence into your being, then those regions of data start to be rewired and you start to liberate aspects of yourself. And then eventually all of your body naturally relaxes every time you show up for practice. So play with this, explore it, make it your own, feel its power. And if you enjoy it or this intrigues you or et cetera, et cetera, please feel free to share. I genuinely believe that everybody can benefit from marathons, um, regardless of who you are, where you're at with your healing journey, whether you are meh about meditation or whether you practice meditation all day every day um whether you're in your 20s and 30s or whether you're in your 70s 80s 90s um it doesn't really matter i genuinely believe that everybody can benefit from marathons and uh the way that they impact the unconscious body mind and personal experiences of consciousness so please do feel free to share any of my contents but especially the marathon challenges and uh, associated content. So thank you for being here and thank you for being you. I'm sending you lots of love and I'm really proud of you for embracing your healing journey. It takes genuine courage to show up for yourself in these ways. And I just want to thank you for doing that on behalf of the universe. I want to thank you for doing that. Every time you practice a marathon, you are liberating and healing and restoring and empowering and transforming aspects of you that really want it even if you don't know that in the moment and so on behalf of the universe I want to thank you for having the courage to show up for your healing journey it takes a lot it genuinely takes a lot and so I just I want to thank you for that have an incredible day and happy marathoning blessings soul friends